I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we have first on the agenda, we have the special activity. This is with resolution 5105, a resolution affirming the appointment of Russell E. Corollas, Jr. by the board's action on July 9th. This is ceremonial oath of office as Clifford Township Fiscal Officer, Russell E. Corollas, Jr. Officially administered the oath on uh, Tuesday, July the 10th. Russ was able to stop by my office, and so we did that officially. But we would like to do it again tonight. Russ, if you would come forward, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do need to pass that resolution. First, is there a motion to approve 5105? So moved. Second. Mr. Buterspaul. Yay. Mr. Gabbard. Yay. Mr. Wade. Yeah. Step right up to the podium there. All right. And if you would, raise your right hand. I and state your name. I, Russell Corolla. You solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. You solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. That I will faithfully discharge the duties. As fiscal officer of Clear Creek Township. As fiscal officer of Clear Creek Township. Warren County, State of Ohio. Warren County, State of Ohio. To which office I have been appointed. To which office I have been appointed. According to the law and the best of my ability. According to the law and to the best of my ability. During my continuance in office. During my continuance in office. And stay right there so she can get plenty of questions. I'm glad. Always good to keep the boss happy. Glad you're here. Thank you. Yeah, we've got a couple things up there. Okay. Yeah, we do. Uh, there's the, first, I wanted to thank the township for the opportunity to serve in my community. Uh, it's the first time I've ever had that, and I appreciate the opportunity to help in making this an even better community. I've enjoyed working and living in, in here, so it, it, it's wonderful. I, I really appreciate the opportunity. Now, as far as the current action, we have some bills that we need to get taken care of. Um, I've looked at those bills and they are ready for your approval. We also have a supplemental appropriation that is coming up. There are sufficient resources within the appropriate funds to meet those appropriations and they are ready for your action. Okay, very good. Well, we have had a chance to take a look at the current bills. Any, any questions of the current bills? Is there a motion to approve the bill? So moved. Second. All right. Mr. Gabbard. Yay. Mr. Muterspaul. Yay. Mr. Wade. Yay. 
And we also have <coughs> in 5006 a resolution amending the revised permanent appropriation resolution with supplemental appropriation. Anybody have any questions about that? 2 things for 5th 3rd, we need to get him on the 5th 3rd account. So there's two documents that need to be signed. One is for the um, for the online account, and then one is to have his name on the check as well too. So we, we've got those and all the signatures that are required. So That's under, yeah, we've got that under 5107 under administration. Okay. I think that, yeah, I think we had to put it under administration because Matt was the one to start with. So. Okay, well we've got the paperwork up there for signature, so. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Public comments. We do have public comments tonight. We did have a, a, a gentleman that was scheduled to come in and was not able to make it. So. Correct. So we'll have that at a future time. Future time. Okay. New business administration. We have resolution 5107. A resolution appointing and authorized persons with controlling authority <coughs> for all accounts for the government entity. Clear Creek Township, Warren County, Ohio, with Fifth Third Bank. Is there a motion to approve 5107? So moved. Second. Mr. B Mr. Uh, yeah. Gavin. Yay. Yeah. Mr. Peters Paul. Yay. Yeah. Mr. Wade. Yay. Yeah. And we have a request, request to authorize the Township Administrator to execute a letter of engagement and agreement for audit services through the Auditor of State's Office, not to exceed $8,000. We've discussed this and had some discussion about it on a couple of cases. So, uh, any, any questions about uh, this amount of money? I would, uh, did, did they give us an estimate? I think this is a very good price, by the way. So, I, I expected more. So, I wondered if they actually gave us an estimate. Do we know? Uh, I, I, I believe. Without Matt being here, we, I believe he said that I talked to him about, by the way, he talked to him about 10 to 5 in Wednesday. Appreciate all of your well wishes, and that uh, things are are going better than they would have expected, at least at this particular point. So that's good. 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 Uh, and uh, he appreciates all the support that you all provide. So he wanted me to let you know that. Uh, the answer to the question is, I don't know if it was an estimate, but he had the same feeling that the price he thought would be higher than that. All right. Well, he's had some discussion with right. us for, right. for sure. I'm sure he has. Is there a motion to approve this expenditure for the auditor of state that uh, not to exceed eight thousand dollars? So moved. Second. All right. Mr. Buspal. Yay. Mr. Gas. Yay. Mr. <coughs> Yay. And we have a request to purchase a disk disc array for incrementally replacing aging IT hardware that is out of warning not to exceed sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. Would you like to talk about that? Jeffrey? Yeah, and that's uh, just bring up to speed. Um, instead of doing everything in one fell swoop, Doug, our IT guy, has been looking at things and wants to do stuff as it comes available. <coughs> we have issues with warranty and finding additional parts. So if we truly were down, we would be down. So getting the first step to have the race, we have all the data space where it needs to be and up to speed. And then we'll come back for server upgrades. So this is the first step in the multi process. Different uh, purchases over time. Is there a motion to approve this purchase of uh, $16,500? Mm -hmm. Any question? Yes. Yes. What kind of array? They don't know. They don't know. It's a, it's a disk array that's actually used to store data. It's yeah, yeah. I want to know the array. Like a, I don't know. It's, um, and is it SATA or uh, don't ask those questions? No, that's, no. that's fine. Um, let's see if Doug has it on his memo. I don't recall it having a specification of. The brand name is this year. I know he's going to put it in a ring to ring. Yeah, I don't, I don't have it. doesn't have a brand name on it. Yeah, it does not. Okay. Okay. Are there some of those that are significantly better or worse than others? Is that what you think? Yeah. And you know, I, I do think that he's uh, probably done that but research. 
property as surplus and approving destruction of said person's property uh, identified as the SCBA office. Yeah, it breaks the end of the life through DOT standards. They can't be tested anymore, so we can't sell them because someone might try to use them. Okay. Yeah, so we just destroy them. That way we release all liability and they're staying at the value. Do you can actually do that yourself or you hire something? Yeah, we just drill holes in them. Drill the mm -hmm. You give them the scrap or you Okay, is there a motion to approve 5108? So moved. Second. Mr. Gabbard? Yay. Mr. Mearsbach? Yay. And Mr. Wade? Yay. And we have a request to remove probationary status to regular full-time status for firefighter EMT Jordan Holbrook and Scott Bunker. They've reached their probation. They've done very, very well the first year. Um, no action to be for a raise to the contract, but they're just no longer on probation. Okay. Uh, is there a <coughs> is there a motion to move these two gentlemen from probationary <coughs> status to full time status? So moved. Second. Mr. Mearsbach? Yay. Mr. Gabbard? Yay. Mr. Wade? Yay. Anything else, Chief? Okay. Scott, have anything for the road department? No, sir. Just to uh, let you know, the road's resurfacing. Hopefully, we'll restart on August 13th. Don't know if it's north end or south end. I'll hopefully find that out tomorrow. And uh, okay. I'm in the process of gathering the. Uh, quotes and stuff for guardrail and uh, curb repair this year, so I'll have that coming along soon. Very good. Any questions for Scott? Moving on to the zoning department. I have nothing to do with <laughs> not a bad thing. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a very good thing. Yeah. Staff update, anything? Uh, is anything else? Anybody else wants to know? Yeah, Mr. Clark, let me to bring forward um, discussion um, after the last uh, trustees meeting, there was a uh, brief discussion about possible other meeting dates yes. for this, and we wanted to bring that back and see if you guys would like to have dialogue and if you had direction. So, yeah, I, I personally had some conversation with him about, uh, you know, we've had some morning meetings that we moved because of necessity, mm -hmm. and they seem to work out pretty good for our schedules. And I certainly like morning meetings. Mm -hmm. Works into my schedule too. Uh, now Jason, you're, you know you're traveling a lot, so Monday, yeah, Monday mornings w would work better for me. In fact, I, I, for the public consumption of it, I think my thought would be to start with one in the morning and one in the evening. So the first meeting of the month, or whichever meeting is, is got the first meeting usually got less on the agenda, more on the agenda. It's usually more. Yeah. That is what we try to. To do, but do it up front. I, that, that, my thought would be to do the lesser intense meeting uh, in the morning. Okay. Um, it does a couple of things. I mean, staff is already here, so it doesn't take time out of their day. Um, well, let me ask you about this Monday. One of the reasons we were doing this is to give staff time to get prepared, and that was my thinking. And Monday morning doesn't they have to get everything done by Friday night. <coughs> which is what they do now. I mean, so I, the, it, it, Mondays work better for me. I, I'm not, I mean, yeah. tied to anything. But you, um, but Wednesday would be a better day for me just because it works into my calendar better, but I don't really care. I mean, it's not that, a big deal. But that would that'd be the opposite for days. Yeah, I usually travel Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or if, if we move our meetings to Monday morning, they'll travel. I mean, I can alternate because it is week to week, but, yeah. um... But, you know, if, if we decide to do this, and we're just talking now, if we decide to do this and it doesn't work, we'll move it back. Right. We'll move it to another day. If we had, uh, no offense to the halt, but if we had more people show up to meetings, I think I'd be more worried about a morning meeting, but we simply don't have any attendance. Um, and that's it. I take that as the fact that they like what we're doing, so, yep. um, that's okay, but it's, it's... A, um, I've, yeah. ta I've, I've talked to other townships, several of them do all their meetings in the morning. Yeah. Well, we've had, we've, uh, over the years, we've had, started off when I started, it was uh, 4.30 on Friday night. Of course, that was a long time ago, a crazy time for a meeting, but there was a particular reason for that at the time. <laughs> and then we had some, our, our fiscal officer at the time, if he, his son played basketball, and then he could get to the Friday night basketball meeting <laughs> if we started at 4.30. 
And then when he went on, he went on to play at Miami, and it was, so when they were in town, and he could get to Miami and get it for an evening <laughs> And so, and then we've had morning meetings, and we've had Tuesday meetings and Thursday meetings. So, the, we certainly have the ability to take it and give it a shot on uh, Monday morning. And, and just out of curiosity, I'm I'm I'd, I'm interested in staff input as well. Yeah. What what works better for you? You guys have meetings that you do every week. We know. We don't want to cut into that either. And obviously, our law director. I don't want you know. Don't want to hurt your schedule. Well worth it. Thursday. You have a show for now. It's good for you. Thursday. Thursday evenings are bad because I'm in both other jurisdictions that I <coughs> represent for those, and as long as you tell me enough time, I can. So Friday morning is not terrible for you. Okay. Or excuse me, Monday. Friday morning it would actually be okay. I, I'm, I'm home every Friday, so. I'd be good with either one. I, sorry, it, it's just a matter of when it makes sense for everybody. You count nine o'clock or nine, yeah. nine, yeah, nine, nine thirty. Five, you know, five, 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 better. You can go straight to the golf course from this meeting and put it on Friday. Yeah. Well, anyway, you got staff think about that, and we'll make a decision until we get back with Matt. Yeah, talk, talk in your staff meeting. Talk about what makes sense. Yeah. For you guys, and and we'll. Obviously, we need to accommodate the three of us to, to be able to, to get things moving. But um, and, and Russ, I'm assuming that you're. Make time. Yeah, you yeah. guys. You, you guys call me. I'll show. Okay. Perfect. So. All right. Well, so the answer. <laughs> we're still in the we're, get, we're getting that look from Palmer. Like you just said a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you use every day but Thursday. So we narrowed it down to four. Well, I was just going to say that if you would ever go to an all morning agenda, you know, we would still have to have for the public hearings that I required to have an additional evening one. So if you kept one in the evening and one in the morning, we could accommodate that. That was the other part. That's what you and I discussed previously as well. Yeah. Because we have to have those evenings. Yeah. Okay. Well, more discussion to come when okay. uh, Mac gets back and after we, you guys give it some comments. <coughs> see what, see but what you're, you made the point, Ed, about long weekends. Yeah. Um, and I don't take any long weekends very rarely, so. I don't need it, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're starting to think about it. I think. Yeah. So the holiday weekend we usually generally just move that Monday meeting to that Tuesday morning That's right. which works out great so I would think we would continue that if we do pick Monday morning is just to move it to Tuesday when necessary okay. so I have more comments about that as we go along here before we make that decision okay. anything else under staff updates yes. we do have an executive session scheduled to consider the appointment employment and or promotion and compensation of public employee and, and for an update on uh, some litigation that we're going to write. So with that, I don't know that we'll have any action coming, coming back. I'm sure we won't. So uh, you're all welcome to stay, but 